Life from the Spiro Clinic in Fayetteville, Arkansas for such an exciting bell ringing. Krista, you came in with CRPS. How long did you have it? So, diagnosed a little over three years, undiagnosed about seven. So, that is a long time. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to give the floor to you because I know you have some things to say. Knowing you. Me? Really? <laughs> no. Um, not at all. Um, dearly beloved, we are going Oh, wait. Wrong, uh, okay, sorry. Wrong thing. Um, so, um, everybody told me they were like really waiting to hear my speech and surprise, I don't have one planned and you don't have anything at all to say. Um, but I'm going to actually start crying because um, first contact that I had with Spiro Clinic uh, or knew anything about was a negative Facebook post. And um, me, I'm a very positive person and uh, had to check it out. I mean, when I actually got on the website and read Dr. K's philosophy, um, and then read her book, I knew that this is where I had to be, like this is where I was going to finally be healed, and I knew that in my heart, and uh, contacted Anna and told her, look, this is this is where I need to be, and it was over the weekend, didn't think I'd hear anything, and this woman is absolutely amazing. Um, she is there for you 24-7, weekend, during the day, it doesn't matter. I was in a horrible spot about four weeks before I came. Um, it was not suicidal, I know many of us are, um, but I, for almost 72 hours, laid on a bathroom floor, couldn't get up, vomiting everything, holding nothing down. I uh, had full body CRPS with organ involvement, gastroparesis, and um, my daughter who is here with me today and my husband have been in the doctor's offices when they told me, uh, there's nothing else we can do for you. You're here as long as your organs are good and when they give out, that's it. And unfortunately, my grandchildren, who are also here with me today, were in the room when that was told to me. And um, when I asked them how long I had, they said, you could have two weeks, you could have two years, you could have ten years, we can't tell you. When your organs go, that's just when you're, you're gone. And I had no idea that two years later I'd be laying on the floor knowing that if I closed my eyes, I could give up. And uh, contacted Spiro, they gave me a November date, and I actually told Anna, I'm hoping to make it till November. I did not know if my body would hold out. Um, started fundraising, and then the next week, Anna says, hey, <laughs> you want to switch dates? Because uh, we can get you here in three weeks. And I, I am going home in remission um, <laughs> in September before my start date ever would have happened. And this has been a super long journey. My husband uh, and I were married in October of 2013. And the last trip that we actually took together with me healed was our honeymoon wow. in October of 2013. So I was injured in January of 2014. We had about three months together before this happened to me. So this is kind of an exciting time and I'm excited to have next week with him. But uh, he is, if he'll come up here, um, literally been my complete rock through all of this. Um, even though I was never suicidal, I might have been homicidal a time or two uh, through this. <laughs> I know some of you can probably relate, and he's still here. I just want to bring him up here so you can see he made it. Um, I, I didn't take him out. Um, the other, I, I've had so many people in my life that have helped me get here because when the time that he was a police officer and when he got out of police work and went to the job he's in now, he did a lot of traveling while I was in a wheelchair. Um, spinal cord stimulator. I walked in for my spinal cord stimulator surgery and that would be the last time that I walked for over a year and a half. So during that time uh, he did a lot of traveling and I was home alone and my daughter who I'm going to bring up here um, has rearranged my house more times than I can count from bringing everything up here to where I could reach it in a wheelchair. Now I'm in a rollator I can reach it here. Now I have frozen shoulders I can reach it here. Um, every time that my house needed to be rearranged she was there. My house needed to be clean. She was there. He was out of town. I needed doctor's appointments. She has been there. Um, my grandchildren are also here with me. And from the time that my uh, granddaughter was uh, born, she's been laying on the couch with Nana through uh, six stomach surgeries within a nine month time from my organs giving out on me. Um, it was a long ride. Um, my grandson, I had never, Junior, uh, actually picked up until last night and I picked up my grandson and held him in my arms for the first time in his life. I carried him, him outside to inside 
and I picked up my granddaughter for the first time last night and carried her uh, for the first time since before my grandson was born. Um, it's, I, I was, almost I wasn't going to cry, but there's been so many firsts for me here, and everybody has been absolutely and completely amazing, and I know people talk about the expense of this place, but here's the thing. You cannot place any amount of dollars on getting your life back, on your family, on what matters to you, period. And if it wasn't for Spiro and the opportunity to be here, there was a very good chance I would not be here. So Dr. K, I really want to thank you for your vision, following through on it, never giving up on us. Um, the staff here is amazing, from Dr. K to the front desk, who I know are ready to see me get out that door, so I'll quit <laughs> bugging them. Um, Colleen, behind the scenes, scheduling everything is absolutely amazing. I don't think she gets enough credit for everything that she does. Um, to Shane, who I, I've had my microcurrent machine changed so many times, uh, it's <laughs> unbelievable, and he's always, always, always been there. Um, Dr. Lauren, who just started not too long ago and has been absolutely amazing. I'd love to be able to say some good things about Dr. B today, but look what he did to my shirt. <laughs> Uh, just kidding. Uh, Dr. B has done amazing things and treatments on me for neuro release. Um, everybody that has been in my treatments from Amanda to Heather to Kim, all of you are great. The therapists are great. But there's one person here who um, every single day has been by my side and pushed and pushed and pushed and listened to me scream, even though a few of them thought I knocked her out a time or two because of all the noise in the room. Um, Tammy. Um, Come up Good. here and cry. <laughs> She's softening. Using a cane in all these fluffy clothes and look at you now. But no one will believe how you Nobody. came in. Nobody. Uh, no when I came in, we actually pulled up some videos and pictures and I was looking for pictures of, for Jenna. And uh, I'm 45 pounds heavier as I leave today than I was when I came in. Um, that is un believable. I haven't been able to gain weight in I don't know how many years. Um, my daughters and I have tried to gain weight together. She's managed. I haven't. Um, <laughs> we've, tr like, right, we've been on weight loss journeys together and we don't need to do that anymore. So, uh, But Tammy has pushed every single day and uh, I truly believe one of the main components of this program uh, in the love-hate relationship that I have with NMR is I literally hate sometimes how I feel when we are trying to get up there in numbers because it is rough. But I love that feeling afterwards. And when you actually, uh, the first time that I hit a zero in NMR, like, oh wait, maybe we can do this again. And Tammy's like, oh, we're, yeah, we'll do this again tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that feeling is so amazing. And I truly have said this a million times and I believe it, but 90% of this program is your attitude, your mindset, coming in with the can-do, positive attitude, I will do this, I can do this, and believing that every single day. And I know there's so many patients that get down on themselves and hard on themselves, but when you wake up in the morning and you make that decision to get here to the clinic, half the battle is won. Mm -hmm. When you go home, you should have nothing left. And that's the hard part of this, because it depletes everything you have. But you have got to put 130% in every single day. NMR, I believe, being the main part of it. Um, I'm a huge component, have my own art machine that, machine that I will be taking home and using. Um, and I don't know what else to say, my son-in-law who has been getting my daughter and my grandkids is also here. Um, I know many of you are jealous of where I stay, but that is uh, in, in the support that I have there, but that's all because of B. Um, she has made that possible and if without her, I don't know that I could have actually stayed by myself because um, when my husband left, after I give everything I have here, and I'm so worn out, she's the one that has helped me with cleaning and taking care of Layla during the day when Layla is, <laughs> and making sure that I'm a, I'm good, everything's good, and I think everybody has to have that support person, whether it's family here with you, a friend here with you, somebody that is supporting you where you're staying, it's super, super important. So, um, but having said all of that, um, I had everybody sign my t-shirt because this was our journey. Everybody has a very individual journey, um, uh, but we all do it together. And it's important that we all push each other every day, raise each other up every day, let each other know how important we are every day because we all belong here. Um, we all have a right to be here. 
and um, we're going to do this, and every single one of you are going to do it as well, and I'm going to be following everybody's journey, because I watch all the videos, as you know, I comment on everything, <laughs> post everything, um, and I love you guys, and um, right. guess what? I'm in remission! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.